Aloha guys, Justin here with another episode of Fish and Dive Hawaii. We're out here in Half Moon Bay, California with Taku and his girlfriend. Check their channel out at Outdoor Chef Life. We're trying to catch some Dungeness crab, some rockfish, and some um, eels. So hopefully we can catch something and he's gonna cook it up over here. So it should be a lot of fun. Alright guys, in today's episode, we are doing a collaboration with Taku from Outdoor Chef Life. You guys have probably seen a couple videos on his channel. I'm meeting him at Half Moon Bay, which I think is about two hours from where I'm at now, especially with traffic and stuff. So, uh, I know it's an awesome spot. That's where Mavericks is, the big wave surfing contest. Um, so, hopefully I don't run into too much traffic. We're meeting at 10.30, so I might run a little late, but it uh, should be an exciting day. He's an awesome chef, so... I want to see what he's cooking up. I brought a couple goodies for him to try out. And yeah, I think it'll be an awesome day. All right guys, we are getting close now to Half Moon Bay. It took us about an hour and a half, hour 45 minutes, a little longer because I did stop at Target to grab water and use the restroom. Um, so we're passing over this cool reservoir right now. Let's see if you guys can see it. I'm gonna do a little time lapse as we're getting to the, uh, to the spot. Cold. These guys are surfing in here. Five millimeter suits, probably seven. Seven's probably a little bit too thick, but man, I would not do that. <laughs> Check out all those crab traps right there. Okay, crazy. The water's like right here too. Yep. Right there's the bay. Get your GoPro at Costco too. No, I got my. Um, it was I did one of those uh, trading. Mm. Like, oh, the hundred hundred dollar one. Yeah. Put our whole right next to the guy's pole. No, uh. <laughs> just stick in the same pole. <laughs> So we got this crab snare right here. Fill it up with some calamari, some squid. This thing is sick too, cause it's got like lead molded in the bottom of this cage to keep the weight down so it doesn't just roll all over the sea floor. And then you lock it right here with kind of like this bike tube material. So should be good. Poke some holes. Alright. Here, I got this one for you. So they don't like pull drag or anything, no? No, they won't. Okay. You usually, depending on how active they are, we checking like anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes. Okay. But the first one, I just go like 10 minutes or so. Check it out. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You'd be able to tell though, yeah. You'll just keep going in.
Looks like a pretty fish worthy spot. But I think we're literally just poking them in holes. Oh yeah, got a bite right there. There we go. Got one. Oh, shit. No! Damn. I lost it. Is it right here? It's right here. Oh, my gosh. Probably should check if there's bait on it still. Yeah, there's bait on it. I guess I didn't set the hook good. It didn't look like one of those eels. It looked like a fish. But I feel like there's still more fish in here. Alright, whoa. I think I just blew my shot at this hole. Alright, yeah, let's move to another spot. Those are the eels right there. What's that? The eels, what are they, what are these called? Monkey face prickleback. Monkey face prickleback. Yeah, so they're technically um, like a rock fish. A, yeah, species of ground fish. Uh-huh. Like rock fish. But they look like eels, so everybody call them, calls them eels. That's a good size one right there. Ah, uh, no, this one's actually a little smaller. Yeah, smaller. Like a medium to small. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, oh, Taku caught that first rock or that eel um, in the same hole that I caught the rock fish in. But he said usually like if there's a fish that bites, even if you catch one in there, it's a good idea to like try the same hole because usually there's more than one fish inside. So hopefully I can catch one. What's funny is that I was telling these guys, I was telling Taku and Daniel, that's uh, my first time fishing wearing pants and shoes. I was gonna bring my tubbies, but I figured it'd be too much of a hassle because I'm going other places too. So I brought I bought these $10 Walmart shoes and so far they're doing the trick. So easy life hacks right there. Sick one. You wanna hold it up one more time? I freaking have my GoPro settings in time warp. Oh. <laughs> From when I drove out here. <laughs> Trying to do a time lapse. Oh yeah. Perfect. Looks like a large belt fan. <laughs> it does huh? <laughs> Yeah, I just went um, bass fishing for our first time a couple of days ago, or oh, yeah. two days ago. Alright, so this spot looks sick too. Let's catch anything. bird over there is eating the fish. Check out this big old sea trying to steal the fish. But I knew there was a fish. There was going to be a fish in there. But I mean, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> there's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Probably poke pole. Woo! Check this out. He's got one pitcher and these things grow back. So um, this is a male. Check this thing out. Pretty wild. Oh, nice size one. About five and a half. Almost. Yeah, five and a half. Yeah. Wanna keep it? Up to you. How much do you got? I 
got two crabs in there. They're about maybe one, one same like this and another one a bit bigger. It's up to you. I mean, yeah, it's, uh, let's keep it. Scoop it up? Yeah. <laughs> we'll uh, add it. We'll get whatever meat we can out of this and then we'll add it. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check out the breakers over here. This huge rock wall. Super calm on the inside. Nice and rough over here, but not super rough. I mean, there's a lot of guys fishing out here. Like this dude's fishing right over here. This is pretty crazy. Pretty sketch. I ain't trying to stay in there too long. <laughs> it's so strange fishing like this because it's literally like hand pulling. Yeah, you kind of just got to guess where they're at. I mean, do this a few times or like Taco, for instance, he probably knows what the holes look like, what these fish tend to hide in. But man, it's like, I just wanna keep trying different holes and see where they're at. So no luck on the poke pulling. I'm gonna walk over, see what uh, Taco was up to. I think he's already started cooking, so. Might even check the, the crab pole, see if there's anything on it. Just salt and pepper. Uh, no, there's no seasoning on there at all. No, oh, so you're just cooking it. Yeah, you're gonna... And I'm gonna mix it. Oh, okay. Get all the meat off of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna mix it into the rice. Is that just uh, seawater? Yeah, just seawater. Nice. <laughs> So guys, if you aren't familiar with Taku or his channel Outdoor Chef Life, he's actually a professional sushi chef at an awesome restaurant in San Francisco, but he does a lot of these YouTube videos. He's got a pretty big channel, over 100,000 subscribers now, so go check out his content, awesome stuff, and he's going to prepare this amazing meal for us. yesterday in Mendocino and then Justin just caught one today here so I'm gonna put that in uh, with the fish too. All right so I'm gonna make some onigiri now. You ready? Just have white rice in both of these. Rice here, rice here. So in one of them I'm gonna put all the fish. That's all the fish here, all the fish meat. Oh, just throw it in there. And I'm also gonna put this free kake. Ooh, actually. You think crab is better with free kake or fish is better with free kake? And which one is better with soy sauce? I think I'm gonna go soy sauce with the fish. Free kake with the crab. Yeah. Sounds about right. Just got some soy sauce. Just gonna drizzle a little on the rice. Super simple, easy recipe that anybody can do. Now we got the crab in here. I'm gonna mix the crab with the rice. And then I'm gonna add some furikake. This is rice seasoning. It's basically just seaweed, different kinds of seaweed and sesame seeds. This is salt water. I think it's gonna be uh, extra little seasoning get my hands nice and wet and 
gonna put a little more soy sauce, I think. This is like a really typical Japanese snack or lunch. Alright guys, if you've made it this far in the video, make sure to leave us a thumbs up here on the channel. It really helps us out. Um, and this part right here is actually us eating the final product of the onigiri that Taku made and I blew it. My audio was all muffled. You can't even hear anything. So if you guys want to experience the full um, like trying out of the food, make sure to check it out at Taku's channel, Outdoor Chef Life, if you haven't already. All right, guys, awesome day today with Taku at Outdoor Chef Life. You guys go check out his channel. We made some good food, cooked that eel, the fish, and the crab came out bomb. So, yeah, yeah check out his channel, go watch his videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, guys, that was an awesome day today with Taku at Outdoor Chef Life. Too bad I wasn't able to land one of those fish, but the fish that he cooked and the crab came out awesome. Um, he's a super good chef. Uh, maybe one day we're gonna do a collab in hawaii we'll see i know you said he wants to come but um until then this is gonna be my last video here um on this vacation that i'm going on i'm not gonna go diving or spirit or diving or fishing in nevada i don't think in vegas and then i'm gonna take my son to disneyland in la and then i'll be back in hawaii making some more videos then so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed the last few videos see you guys next time shoots mahalo see you later Bye bye